Hey, what's going on guys? Come on, Kings here. So this is my very first video on programming after the war has started in Ukraine. I'm sorry for the background, sorry for the lighting, uh, it's not my place. I'm just running this uh, sort of a roof here, um, so I don't know other options uh, to... I don't even have something to take this background away, so I'm sorry for this camera picture. Uh, we're gonna be focusing on the content as always, um, and I know I've been promising, I've been saying that uh, I will never be, uh, I would never ever be making web scraping videos anymore, but that assumption was based on the fact that war would never occur in Ukraine, but as far as it did occur, so currently I have no other choice than to keep going with my uh, web scraping projects, because currently that's the only way for me to survive, to pay the rents, and the life here is very expensive. So I'm working for one of my cl uh, for one of my old clients currently. Um, this this project that I'm going uh, that I'm going to be covering in this video in particular is the web scraping restoration video. So I've written uh, a whole lot of scripts like here, uh, lots of web scrapers, um, and currently I'm repairing those one by one. So I've written those for about two years ago, or even a little bit more maybe. So I'm going to be recovering one of the scrapers, and since I've already recovered around five or so, and the process of restoration is pretty similar all along the way, so I thought that it potentially might be interesting to have a look how this works. So this, the, the first idea is just entertaining purposes. For entertaining purposes, like those of you who did love this channel for web scraping videos, another purpose is just like I've been doing many times in the past, like whatever next uh, upcoming web scraping video is the way to uh, get some new clients uh, in this field. So yeah, um, just just a few more words uh, before we end up here. So we're trapped in the country. Uh, men from 20 to 60 are not allowed to escape and those tried are already in jail, I believe, so it's really unfortunate. And uh, I already have uh, a job offer in Germany, but since I can't get there, it's not on the cards anymore. So I'm forced to do what I can do here remotely, uh, make freelance jobs. So yeah, um, one of the reasons why I'm, why I'm making this uh, is literally to calm down myself a little bit, because to be honest, um, even though there are no bombs dropping here, just 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 a few missile attacks like somewhere far away from here but you know like uh when we were in a place where it was everything was exploding it felt really better because you were not feeling like you're being hunted <laughs> but because uh guys are getting trapped just right on the streets and by the military and police and getting recruited to army by force so it's a very unfortunate thing and that's something that can't happen to me every every single every single possible second basically so i'm sitting here not going out and hope for the best uh i don't know maybe for those who's for my country as well it's not really the best ever option but i believe that as far as i'm not going to live in this country any longer when and as long as i would be able to escape from here i will do that definitely um so since i'm not gonna stay here i can see no reason to do something here because whatever I do here I would leave this and then we'll start from scratch in another country whatever uh, so this was a little bit of a personal um, sort of a opinion set this the, the topic of the war but now let's just drop that and get back to the technical stuff so um, let's start with the residential sale for so just wanted to leave this phone for a while Let's start with the residential sale. So this this is the scraper to get the data from. Uh, do I have? Um, do I really have the pages? Well, probably I don't. Okay, so let's just um, open the terminal here in current working directory and say Python three residential sale dot py. So there is a website uh, called Immobiliara. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing this properly. It's not for Mm, it's not in English even it's in some language that I don't know so here is the response uh, yeah um, I just probably okay I just want to restore it to, to its original state yeah because I already started it's some work so yeah let's go like uh, I also want to I don't have this break okay so like this um, 
So as you can see, it doesn't work. Uh, I just don't really remember if I uh, the range of pages. Uh, yeah, I don't. I need to get rid of this break as well. This was initially available there. Yeah, so it just goes through the locations, but it doesn't result in any output because uh, the selectors has been broken, right? So just just to have an idea, like um, what the URLs are. So if I just just want to print the URL to to give you an idea, like how the data that we're about to be scraping looks like. Uh, so it's probably yes, Argentina. Nope. Well, I, I'm not sure what country is it. We'll now have a look. It doesn't really matter that much. Let's go to the browser and um, let's have a look here. Uh, I'm not even sure where Italian from it, it wants to translate from Italian. So is this really Immobiliare? Yeah, maybe this is Italy, maybe not. I, I don't really care what the country it is because this is because um, it wants me to accept the cookies, which I'm not about to be considering because this might violate my web scraping logic. So uh, I just, I just ignore this for now and it doesn't allow me doing doing much but i don't care much about this just to give it another yeah probably this is the italian sign i'm not not really so sure but from the web scraping, scraping perspective who really cares about this right so um uh the idea is just like in all the rest of the projects it's just to crawl through the whole site all the regions of the of the country then for all the regions we have this list of uh apartments or houses to sell uh, and there are there might be quite a plenty amount of pages like to up to 100 for instance so we need to crawl through all of those pages that logic has already been implemented around two years ago when i was initially doing this but now the problem is um, that the selectors for the links for every single property in particular is not being uh, fetched is, is not being um, extracted properly so uh, the very first thing I do uh, when I go for recovering thing, well, the very first thing is just I want to add this break here. So from now on, it just tries to walk through the only location from through the very first one, and that's it. And now um, here, uh, the callback function is parse pagination. So this method method is intended to to uh, to provide to bring back um, the number of total pages to traverse. Uh, we'll probably alter this selector as well, but for now all I want to have here Since uh, we're not getting ever to this loop to, to uh, We're not getting into the loop over the pages uh, over the page range and we're never ever called this parse links Which we should fire here. So we're not there really so just just to give an idea so if I here just say uh, sort of print and like Let's just make it visible. So parse links, just just to give you an idea. So we're not really, um, we're not really going there. So we stuck here at parse pagination. So the very first thing I want to do, I want to say with open, and let's call it response.html, and I want to write uh, to the file stream as file and say f dot write and response.txt. So uh, and yeah, after after I want to return. So I just want to save the file of uh, this response HTML as is. So we go for this, and you see this response HTML has appeared, and here it is. Now we open this in a browser, and surprisingly, <coughs> I'm sorry, not surpri not surprisingly, but fortunately, it already does provide all uh, uh, like the exact page that we're looking for. Uh, and since this is, well, I'm not sure if I can can not accept the cookies here. Since this is the local one, I'm not sure whether it's going to be sent or not. But I think that inspect an element should be working anyway. And yeah, it does does seem to be, uh, yeah, it does seem to be working. So. Um, uh, I need to update the selector for this one. So here was a little bit, um, a little bit not clear, but okay. Can we, can I just, hold on a second, can I just remove this uh, or cut? Cut. 
okay it doesn't matter it just sometimes can be yeah i just deleted that <laughs> all right so no more cookies request um what else because this is the local copy uh, i don't care much uh but uh all right uh not exactly what i've been looking for but maybe i'm not sure what exactly i did here but if more or less i can now be happy about with getting the selectors okay finally so a class in card title and h reference so it should be way easier as uh, as it was kind of before so I just grab this selector <clears throat> and now what I need here so I just create a temporary me method here so call it def parse pagination like this takes the self uh, and doesn't yes maybe like like this and um, so here, um, I just want to open the file, this ras.html that I already have, and I say response equals to, uh, sorry, here it should be response, so response equals to selector and text, text equals to read. all right. Now I can use this response, the fake response object. It's not a response object, just a uh, CSS, just just a selector, literally. I can use this selector to uh, to extract the data. And here, I don't want this login. I don't want anything. I just want to say uh, residential sale and uh, dot parse. Uh, did I call it parse pagination? I guess so. Then the instance of a class and just fake the response. So now, yeah, we had a selector. So from now on, this means that from now on, we are actually able to uh, start repairing our selector. So here, I want to create links selector and I say rest.css and we're looking for this one. So a tag and class like this i'm looking for the attribute of the h reference and i want to get all so now i um, just want to print the links and if i did everything properly it should give me a list of links which it seems to be which it, se it seems to be exactly what i've been looking for so let's quickly have a look copy and go in here for instance so yeah indeed and we can we can already get grab the data from here later on okay so far so good so which means that i can just take this selector and also yeah hold on a sec also i am wondering about the number of total pages which is uh, which is another uh so this one 80 is the number of total pages uh i want to inspect this probably providing the selector in pagination item uh, let's try this div. Mm, let's try this div. So I don't want a links for now. So I want to I want to ask for total pages. I want to ask for total pages. Uh, rest CSS div. Um, this one. Um, hide on the bile. It's interesting. Um, not exactly like this apparently it's a bit better <clears throat> uh, let's have a look at the text and get all uh, I'm not sure what it prints here but let's have a look so total pages that's exact those are the exactly the steps I'm considering when I just just do this work okay um we got this 80 here so we need this one right um and yeah, total pages so since this uh is a list 
we can look for the very last element and here we go and also currently it's a string uh, however I believe that we need uh, integer because yeah the range it should be integer so just say int like this and this should work now now this is integer it's not same but but it is all right so what's next so the next thing is to um yeah i just want to grab this total pages and here bring them in right um and also uh, the links i'm just wondering i'm wondering where did, did it go wrong with the links um hmm. Think around here basically because I was like calling okay parse pagination. Uh all right. I'm just I'm not really sure. Just just wanna make it one more time. So yeah, probably I yeah, probably didn't worry because of the total pages and we didn't yet even come to to the links. So parse links, yeah, for card class list of item body. Is this the case? No, it's not. But the very list we should get here now. So I restore this break after the first. So yeah, now once the total pages is right there, it should hopefully should work okay um so let's resume the crawler i'm wondering so hopefully not right in this one anymore so probably i can delete this safely um yeah let's have a look so ras is not defined okay that's because it should be response all right okay so now we get something and yeah we we're getting into the parse links now so we just get this callback function which is fired here so we're currently here um and here uh i need to grab this links from here i don't need this anymore and put links in and I just take this card URL in links like this and if I know that everything properly well uh, we can we can stop we can drop on the only only the first one so now it should come to parse listing and if it works um, it should result in an output file. Let's have a look if this is going to be the case though. Okay, it didn't do much. Okay, that's because of an error. So links rest. Okay, and, and the same issue here because I uh, should be response. Let's have a look. Okay. Um, no, it did go somewhere well ready rack this should be just fine yeah and crawled the actual list in here so it did crawl the list in however um however it didn't it doesn't seem that it didn't manage to I'm wondering is this what the try accept some point output oh no no here is a file okay i'm sorry for this so yeah actually it did result in a file and the file seems to be the full of data um so one last thing here i just uh get the indentation indent equals to two just to make 
the data uh, sort of visible now so it should appear here and here we go so we got one and yeah this this is quite pretty fantastic so we have uh, you know the coordinates so all the data from uh, all the data from the target property listing page like this one just to give an idea where this data is getting scraped from is currently uh, is just right on the cards so yeah it should be yeah so all this data like the address the prices this all the stuff here it's all it's all been scraped just like two years ago which is you know, the energy certification this is awesome yeah so far so good so yeah we can drop back drop this back to uh, we can drop we can now safely drop this back to one liner because that's the preferred format for my client um, now I can get rid of all of the breaks so get rid of this one there are still might be some issues with the crawling but like getting blocked or something but generally uh, all the broken selectors has been restored and I will now try to run it and it should result uh, it should scrape sort of a several several kind of like uh, probably uh, properties uh, I just uh, I still I still want to limit to, to limit myself to the only uh, to the only region just just for start because otherwise it just may take too long and now it should start uh, okay yeah due to being asynchronous yeah the page might not start from the very first one but that's fine um, yeah, I probably should have one more break there for otherwise it just can take a bit too long to wait. So yeah, uh, it just it should work, but that's just a little bit too long. So I would rather instead, yeah, let's just bring this break back. So I just want to scrape the data from, from a single page for now, just to make sure that all of those, yeah, now it's now it's fine. So now I'm scraping uh, from like the property list and one by one from, from a single page. But this is going to be exactly the same from from the multiple pages, but just takes longer because uh, I'm not going for I'm not going for multi-threaded thing here just to avoid uh, violating the terms of usage of, of the target website in order to avoid getting blocked there. So yeah, this com com scraping is now over, and yeah, we have 25 property listings, all hopefully full of data, and they are just one layer which is absolutely fantastic so now um, I will now do the same for the residential rent which is literally the same as this one but I just need to reproduce the steps I've just made so far and also then I'll add some logic to uh, run this uh, I'm gonna be running this on EC2 uh, AWS EC2 instance uh, like my clients one and also I'm gonna add some logic to upload the data to batch upload the data to uh, AWS S3 storage but since uh, there I have a private information I'm not allowed to share in public because you know why I'm not gonna be doing this so we'll end this video just right here and we now see that the scraper has been recovered and we've just successfully extracted the data from up to 25 properties from the very first page but meanwhile this should be uh, the case for the rest of the pages and for all the regions this is from my site thanks for watching until the next time and take care